Look at Curry, man. Man, just just look at Curry. Look how Curry looking at y'all, matter of fact. Steph looking at y'all like, like y'all not ready. He is in the pack market. You do see him here in the pack market. Bold and beautiful. Just as bold and beautiful as he want to be. All right, so we back in that thing. And as you know, you can get these additional passes. I almost bought this four times on accident. I know, I you know, 2K, you're trolling for even putting this up here like this. I hit A and almost buy this every time on accident. Let me bypass that because I already have the Hall of Fame pass. Look at Steph. Look how Steph Curry is looking at y'all. And who exactly would we be if we weren't here to bring you the tale of the tape on these agendas, these bold and beautiful NBA players here. Look, I'm going to keep it a buck with you. There's some trolls in the comment section. And at this point, I'm just here for you. I'm only here for you and you are here for me. So I thank you for trolling my comment section. I thank you. Uh, hey, if you didn't like the video, don't like the video. If you don't like 2K, if you don't like video game sports, what are you here for? How did you end up here? How did you end up on a sports video game page to figure out what sports video gamers are doing if you don't have anything better to do? You must have something better to do. You have to have something better to do in your life. There has to be something in your world worth more than spending at least 12 seconds leaving a comment on a sports video game if sports video games are walking ills. I went and looked at your page. You don't have you haven't uploaded it forever. I hope that's a throwaway page. I hope your page is a throwaway page that you just don't mess with. You just got it as a backup page to leave these kind of messed up comments on people's. I hope that's your troll page. I didn't check when you made your page, but you have 12 subscribers. You haven't uploaded in months. I hope you have something else that you're doing creative or something that you have going on in your life that you love and you enjoy doing, because if this is your legacy and this is all you got as a timestamp to leave a stamp of what you had going on. You ain't really got much going on. We top flight security of the world, Craig. They need security in the world, Craig. And before we take another step, hold on here. Let's 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 address this. We got to we got to pray for the boy destroying. He been we addressed the negative, so we must address some positivity. Let's send some prayers up for him. He he tweaked his something. He's on the injury reserve. He went and made a hefty tackle on a hefty running back. So I just want I want y'all to just just once up, take a moment, go over there and wish that boy, you know, to jump up off that injury reserve. Cause kickers don't go and do that. He's he's not that heavy. He's a little bit light in the ass, but we just want to go over there and say, hey, destroying, we see you. You've been working. You've been putting in that work, and I hope that you get off that injured reserve as soon as possible and get back to your dreams, get back swimming. Hey, look, one day at a time, take it one day at a time, one step at a time, bro. Mind over matter, you can do it. You can get back. I mean, I hope it's not too serious, and you should be all right. It looked like it was just a little stinger. It looked like a little sting up, you know, maybe a little nerve damage, a little, you know, it happens. It happens to the best of us. So whatever's going on, I just hope that you get right and you back out there doing what you love to do. You know what I'm saying? And oh, Lord, what is Rihanna got going on? The interview spring 24 cover. What? I've never heard of the interview, but if it got something to do with Rihanna, you know, I'm all in. Ooh we. All right. So we're here now. And before we get to the tell of the tape, we're going to jump into the tell of the tape real quick because we got a few segments for the day. We got to go through. We got to go through what the uh, agendas are. So when them agendas drop. As soon as the majority drop, I'm gonna jump them in there. You know, we got a little time to little time to wait, but I like to start this part early. Bold the bold starts today. We got Dark Matter Steph. We got Opal Richard Jefferson, Opal Julius Randall. You know what I'm saying? And Carlo is uh Carlo is hinting that the player market is pretty dry, dusty. The dusty player market. We watching the eclipse. We was watching the eclipse. We was. I y'all love Curry away. Wait, y'all love giving Curry away for free because he's a small PG and not many people will be able to use him. Y'all not low. Look, I know the game. I know the game. I peeped the game. Like I've been saying, I said it in the last couple videos. I don't say it often, but we don't run small point guards on my team. So I just, hey, I'm a hint early that the tail of the tape might tell me what I want to do or what I might like to do. 
when we read him off the, you know, with the numbers, he might look good on paper, but the one stat that's already not in his favor is, bro, you like, you like six, two, you like six, two, you know, you're going to get blocked from the baseline to the three point line. You know what I mean? Centers might be standing 48 feet away from you and still get the block because you're small. 2K know what they be doing too. They know exactly what they be doing. They want to give away the little bitty cards. They want to give away little point guards. Have you seen these last little? We just gave away. We just gave away a midget. We got Isaiah in the last pack opening and gave him away. He's not. They still pushing this agenda. I don't know how many of y'all are really going for it. We didn't get no Jalen Brown. We didn't get no. Man, we can't get no. Like, can we get a Ben Simmons? I mean, he just, cause I don't know. Y'all want to put the, these cards y'all want to put in the player marketer. It's unbelievable. Y'all are unbelievable. Okay. And without further ado, let's just jump into these, these bold, beautiful cards. We got Jalen Duran. I don't know this man. He's a center power forward. He has 96 offense, 99 defense, 611 center power forward, 18 hall of fame badges, next gen, 20 hall of fame badges, 30, 35 gold ones. This man has a 73 point shot. He's a nizzit for me. I I wouldn't. He has no shooting badges. He can upgrade all of them, but he has none. So you will be wasting a bunch of badges on this guy. This guy has 97, 97 offense and defense rebounding. I mean, it. if you want to run him, run him. Upper to mid. Well, upper driving dunk, upper standing dunk, upper mid driving dunk, driving layup. I'm sorry. is 97, 95 driving dunk. Uh, with a 73 point shot, it's like, yeah, for what? For why? I don't even know you. Jalen Duran on slow. His release is on slow. So they're not even trolling anymore. They're just straight out. I don't know what this is. Why is his release on slow? Ladies and gentlemen, is that just how things go these days? I'm get this man off my screen. Okay. We got OG Ananobi. The next pink diamond. There are three pink diamonds in this set. There are two galaxy opes. And one dark matter, Steph Curry. Stoof Curry. All right, so OG Ananobi has 19 Hall of Fame badges, 38 gold ones. Y'all can go through them right there if you want to pause the video and see. Expressive badge. I see him with a 93-point shot, 40-shot IQ. Okay. Standing dunk, 75. 90 driving dunk, 90 draw foul. This is worse than a lot of the cards I've seen. Y'all are trolling with these. Well, it's a pink diamond, but y'all trolling with these pink diamonds. We got enough shooting guard small forwards in the game. This man is a lackluster defender, upper to mid 90s. Uh, I don't see any reason to run this card. If you get this card and you need a pink diamond at this point in the game, I feel sorry for you. So, I mean, that is what it is. Let's get that off the screen. OK, we got Boris Diaw out here. Y'all know how Boris Diaw gets down. This man usually premier defender in the game he has 19 hall of fame badges 49 defensive badges i mean defensive badges 40 if he had 49 defensive badges we'd be going crazy 49 gold ones you can scroll through and see what he's working with in the badge department all right that three point shot on bro a 93 point shot mid defense a low low 90 defense i'm sorry everything is 90 91 block Everything is 90 in the speed area. They're trolling. They just got, uh, at this point, 2K, you're just bored. 90 everything on this card. 90 everything. I'm telling you, there are a few 95s. I see 195, some 85s, an 89. This card is trash. This is the worst pink diamond in the set. You have given Boris D out two cards this year alone. So he must not be. Happy with you guys. Must not be happy with him. Has Nicholas Batum, Batum on normal. So that goes for that. A pro two leaner with a 93 point shot. I'm good on this card. A small forward power forward that you can throw in the trash can. Julius Randle at this point. Julius Randle has four, five, six. This is his sixth card. So they're, they're looking out for Julius. 27 Hall of Fame badges. 49 gold badges. So the badge game is up on this Galaxy Opal. Yeah, you can scroll through that and see what's what. Um, a 91 three-point shot. That's kind of low. The vertical is 97. The driving dunk is 95. Driving layup is 98. He has mm, 
mid 90s in the defense, 92 offense, 93 defense rebounding, 95 speed with ball, 85 ball handle. Uh, I mean, for a power forward, small forward, that's not bad. It's a smaller power forward, though. So he's a 6'8", small forward, power forward, and he's leaving a little bit to be desired, I think. I would say he might be able to move with the ball a little bit. Tracy McGrady's signature size up. Kobe Bryant dribble style. That's not one of the better dribble styles. He does have Steph Curry moving step back. So that's a little, I mean, you can actually get a little push with that. 13 dunk packages, long athlete as his layup package. Uh normal leaner the best part about this card would probably be that steph curry moving step back he might be able to get ratchet with that you might be able to go ahead and get ratchet get ratchet but um it's it's looking like some more mid for a galaxy Ope, this isn't going to be the opal that is going to knock anybody off of my team at this point because my team has a better setup of small forward power forwards than this he's just kind of Ah, slow if i should say i could say slow i could say lacking in the defensive area i also could say lacking in the inside scoring department and then 91 three-point shot is laughable so i mean at this point for me speaking for myself okay we can get into richard jefferson richard jefferson has 27 hall of fame badges and 40 gold ones you know the routine go ahead and pause the video if you need to uh, 95 three point shot. That's, that's bonus. That's bonus. I see mid nineties defense, mid to lower nineties defense. I see a 95 speed is standing out to me because you can get that to 99. The stamina is up there. 97 vertical driving dunk is on 98. So that 95 three point shot pair that with a 95 driving, dunk, 98 driving dunk. Excuse me. It's not a bad card. Speed with ball is mid nineties and then. We got an 89 ball handle. He should be able to travel to the cup with that. You might be able to get him to the cup with Kobe dribble style, elite motion style, Tatum signature size up. You got Jordan Poole's combo moves. Moving behind the back is Kyrie. Moving step back pro. Uh, it's not looking, it's not looking extra. You know, it's not, nothing's really standing out. Greg Brown, lower base with Larry Bird's upper release on very quick. I don't know what that jam's like. He does have 15 dunk packages, so he's stacked with dunk packages, and then he has default swing as the layup package. I would say that Richard Jefferson is a not a must-have. I mean, of course, 2K is not going to give us too many must-haves out of agendas. I mean, they're not going to put too many must-haves on the player market, but this is a this is work withable. If we're looking for something we can work with, like this is work withable. This is actually he's this is some work. This is actually some work. Yeah, I'm not going I'm not going to hold you. Now, moving on. Moving right along. The, the moment we've been waiting for, we're going to get the bold Steph Curry. Steph is our topper for this jam. This is the card that we're going to be looking for. He already has 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 cards. He has 8 iterations already. So this is the ninth iteration of Steph Curry. Hey, He's a bad man. 40 Hall of Fame badges, 20 gold ones. Oh, that might be the tipper. What is he working with? He has all Hall of Fame shooting badges. Wow. Team player, alpha dog, and expressive. You can pause that if you need to and see what he's working with in the badge department. 99 three-point shot, 99 shooting. It's upper 90 shooting. Everything is upper 90. The shot IQ, surprisingly, is still 25. Uh, upper 90 speed. 95, 85 strength, excuse me. He has upper to mid 90 defense, which is, that's pretty, that stands out. That stands out a little bit. 99 driving layup, 80 driving dunk, no standing dunk. Uh, 70 post moves, no post moves out of bro. You know, he doesn't really work post like that. He's kind of small. Upper 90s playmaking, 97 speed with ball, 98 ball handle. This card stands out and he does stand out for a reason. The only problem with this card, like I said, He's 6'2". So that's the only thing that, and he wears Under Armour. I don't know why he would do that to himself. Steph Curry's jumper on very quick. All Steph Curry sigs. Moving spin is on pro. Moving hezzy is on pro. He has rim grazers off one and Steph Curry's layup package. All Steph Curry shooting on very quick. And then normal post fade, normal post hook, pro, small, 
Okay, so in the post, he's not going to do much. He doesn't do much in the post. But this card is actually, it's Steph Curry. We can uh, we can go ahead and, you know, we can say he's Steph Curry. He has all the sigs, and then he does have the shooting. So this card is actually going to be Siggy because you know Steph Curry sigs do what they do. You could put this man in any situation. The only problem is that he's he's not a midget. He's not a dwarf, but he's small. He's smaller than I would like on my team. I would like a 6'7 point guard, 6'6 point guard. I'm not going to lie to you. That's really my sweet spot right there for who's going to make my team 6'6 to 6'7. Anything higher than 6'6, I, I'm I'm loving. I will take a 6'4. I will, I will field a 6'5. We can put a 6'4, 6'5 on the court, but under 6'4, uh, I'm, uh, I kind of don't really feel comfortable in every situation that I could get put in on the floor, considering we have Wimby, the long arm of the law, and the lanky leg or the stanky leg, uh, Chet Holmgren out there. We got people like Chris Stapps Porzingis running around, and these cards are terrible to have to deal with in certain situations. They can cover you from the baseline to anywhere on the floor, and they get back so quick. And I don't understand how this game is built at this point, because it's some of the situations that I see myself, I paint myself into. I call myself painting myself into a corner in certain situations because the way that these bigger centers can move is crazy. It's just ludicrous. They need security, they need security in, the world, Craig. in the world, Craig. I'm begging myself not to do it. I just sat there and thought about it for a second. Iconic. They got this iconic clay in here. Eclipses are still here. You can still get eclipses. But this bold and this beautiful. Dark matter. Stoof. Curry. Let's get into a pack. We might as well. We might as well try it. I got a little VC. I got it. You know, it got that, that welfare VC. Get that little welfare VC from the... And we got a Grayson Allen. Just my luck. And I already have a Grayson Allen. So just my luck with that. Anyway, we got to get into... We're getting into the tail of the tape. But first, we're going to get into what it takes to get these agendas. Got eight. We got eight assignments, bro. Eight assignments, bro. Pistons rebounds. Get 50 rebounds with a Piston player over multiple games. Single player steals. Get 25 steals over multiple single player games. Make 50 three-pointers with power forwards over multiple games. Score 200 points in the paint over multiple multiplayer games. Make 150 dunks over multiple games. Win four times using 10 warrior players. Make 53 pointers over multiple triple threat online or triple threat online co-op games. 53 pointers. Make 44 pointers over multiple clutch time offline or clutch time online games. Now that doesn't seem like it's going to be too hard to do. You do have 13 days to go ahead and finish these, get these done, be bold, be beautiful, and get your 99 overall Stoof Curry. Kobe. Also, don't sleep on this part too. You can come over here to the single player challenges. Boom, spotlight challenges. There is definitely a spotlight for these bold cards. Actually, it looks like two, just two missions. Okay, you get you a bold base pack. Get you a shoe card and you get you a bold regular pack for finishing these spotlight challenges on this occasion. Got it. Anyway, we figured out how we get to these bold and beautiful players to get bold and beautiful Steph the Curry, Le Curry James. And that's just that's just what it is. If you're new here, understand we do things a little different around here. I do what I want. Y'all like and subscribe to the channel. Like the video. Like the video. Your booze mean nothing. I've seen what makes you cheer. 